in your discretion. Four zero, pop for Roger. Right now we're gonna. Tower Sky Act one six eight nine four holding short. Uh, Three one right, for right. Coming to base. We're gonna turn base. One six eight nine four pound to tower. Ten more degrees of flaps. Right three one. Verify right Dunbar and a right forty five through Oakland. Uh, we can take a right forty five through Oakland. The eight nine four pulling up holding short. Okay, look at the runway. Uh, Alpha Tower, this is Cherokee 3576 Juliet, or slack, inbound for landing with Fox Drive. We're going to turn to final. Alpha Tower, ident, make left traffic, runway 31. Ident, left traffic, 76 Juliet. Small 40 Papa, squawk VFR. Squawk VFR, 40 Papa. Small 40 Papa, are you looking to stay in the pattern or full stop this time? Full stop, 40 Papa. Small 40 Papa, number 2, follow Cessna, short final, runway 31, clear to land. Number two after the Cessna 3 one clear to land. If those two white lights there mean that we're a little high on the glide path, so I'm going to bring the power back a little bit. But the idea here is I want to keep the numbers on the runway in the same part, you know, height of the windshield all the way down. You know, the numbers should not move that much. They should only get bigger. Meaning I'm keeping a constant pitch. Now I can increase my rate of descent by in in reducing power and then pitching back. I don't want those numbers to move though. By reducing power, we go down a little faster. I'm going to add power back in. It's almost there's that we're going to get a red light, which means we're right on the white and red means we're right on the glide, glide path, right there. See that? All right, got a little crosswind from the right. I'll reduce my power. I'm going to start to slow down. Bravo on the parallel contact ground. Okay, contact ground. Yes, sir. Okay, and then we can open our windows and we'll do our afternoon checklist. 